Today we're going to make a buttermilk pie. It's also known as a preacher's pie. Buttermilk pies were made when they didn't have any fruit or anything else to make a pie with. And buttermilk is the cheapest thing around, so they didn't want to tell the preacher that they were going cheap on him, so they named the pie for him. We're going to make it now. The first thing we need to do is turn the oven on to 450. Now that sounds awfully high, but it's needed to set the crust because as soon as we put the pie in, I'll turn it back down to 225 for the pie to cook. I like to have everything together when I start making a pie or anything like that, so I don't forget anything. First you have a crust here, which I use a store-bought crust, put it in the bowl, in the pan, in the glass dish, and it's ready to go. The next thing I need are three eggs and about a tablespoon of water. The water is to make the eggs multiply a lot better. Next I need a cup of sugar. This is a third of a cup measure here, so I'll put in three of them. The next thing is a third of a cup of melted butter. Since you can't get real buttermilk anymore by culture, it's a little over a cup of that. About a teaspoon of vanilla extract. That's about right. These things aren't real precise. And the other flavoring I like to use is a little lemon zest. Grated off of a fresh lemon. And it goes a long way. You don't need much of it. little salt, about a half piece, that gives it some body as it cooks. And cut. Pour it into a pie shell. Sprinkle a small amount of nutmeg on top. It goes a long way, so you don't need much. And then an aluminum foil collar around it to keep the edge of the crust from over baking. And now it goes into the oven. Turn the oven down to 325 as it cools, it will come down to the correct baking temperature. There it is. Buttermilk pie. 
Well, you check it to be sure it's done and shake it. If it doesn't jiggle in the middle, it's done. Now all we need to do is let it...